everyone, this is Nicole from Kerr Bookkeeping Services, and today I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to merge names and accounts in QuickBooks. Um, I am a QuickBooks Certified Pro Advisor. I'm certified with QuickBooks Desktop, Enterprise, and QuickBooks Online, and I am currently working on my advanced certification. I am based in San Rafael, California, which is outside San Francisco, and I am running a small bookkeeping business that does pretty well. Most of our clients are QuickBooks users and we get a lot of clients just coming to us because they have QuickBooks related issues and problems. So earlier today a question came up in one of the Intuit forums and it was from a gentleman who was having problems merging jobs and customers. So I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to do that because that could be one of the more complicated methods of merging. Accounts are really easy um, and vendors are pretty easy, but customers can be a little tricky if you have jobs under them. So I'm going to open my customers up and I'm going to show you some of the duplicates that we have. Um, just a side note, I am working in a sample file. It's Rock Castle Construction and I'm using QuickBooks Accountant 2013. It says secondary on my file because I have another QuickBooks file open that I opened first. So as we can see, we have two duplicate customers. Um, we have Renee Barley and Christopher Baker. And so Christopher Baker has Chris Baker and Christopher Baker. Chris Baker has one job and Christopher Baker has two jobs. So I'm going to go and show you the steps on how to merge that in a minute. But we're going to start with one that's a little bit easier. And this is Renee Barley and Renee Barley. And if you look closely, you can see that this one is spelled B-A-L-R-E-Y and this one is spelled B-A-R-L-E-Y. This is why duplicates happen. It really is important to go in and check if there's a customer or a vendor or an account before you go ahead and add one. A lot of people rely on QuickBooks letting you know that there is already one in place if you go to add one that's already there. But if you have a misspelling like we do here, you're obviously not going to get that message. So Renee Barley is a little different. Um, she has a, a main account here with one job and a main account here with no jobs. So there's a couple ways of merging this. We can go ahead in the invoice on this one with no jobs and double click and just change the name up here to be the Renee Barley that we want. But we're not going to do that. I'm going to show you how to actually merge them. It's very, very easy. Because this Renee Barley has jobs, I'm going to take the one with no jobs and move it into here. So I'm going to double click on here. This is the one that I want to keep. I'm going to right click the name and I'm going to select copy. I'm just going to close out of this. Now I'm going to double click on the one that I do not want to keep. I'm going to go up here, I'm going to right click and click paste. Now as you can see the names are matching. They're both B-A-R-L-E-Y and when I go and click OK it's going to ask me if I want to merge them. I'm going to select yes and now they are merged. The only thing is that invoice that was in that main account is now here, that little guy for 250 and if we are using jobs, it, it really is best, unless that's for a miscellaneous charge, like maybe a return check or a finance charge, it really should go in its own job. So I would recommend that you would take this, and if it goes in repairs, great. If it goes in its own job, I would recommend creating that job and putting it there. But you should know how to do that, so we're going to move on to the next one, which is Chris Baker. This is the one that came up today. A gentleman was having problems merging names, um, he was, I believe, taking one and trying to put it in the other one uh, with the diamond. I'm not really sure what he was trying to do, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how you actually are going to be doing this. So if we went in and we tried to change Chris Baker to Christopher Baker, it's not going to let us. It's not going to let us because it's, it, we have jobs, which QuickBooks calls sub-names. So I'm going to click OK. I'm going to cancel out of here. So now what do you do? A lot of people get stuck there, but it really is quite easy. What you first need to do is you need to take this job and you need to get rid of it. And you do that by taking it and putting in the right account. 
because if you put it in the right account, then the main account no longer has jobs and you can go ahead and merge it. So this is the job and the name that we want to merge with this master one. And I say master just because it's older, it has more jobs under it. You'll have to go through and see which one you want to merge to. It really, really, really does not matter. Um, what matters is this part, the information. So you just want to go through and verify. And as you can see here, this one, we have a phone number, an address, net 30. But this one has a little bit more information. So that's what I would usually keep an eye on when merging. I'd keep a, uh, an eye on the one that has the most information, and that's the one that you want to keep. So first we're going to go through and we're going to take this kitchen remodel and we're going to move it to Chris Baker, Christopher Baker, excuse me. So as you can see right now, um, and I should, let me go back really quickly. I double clicked, which brings up the edit job window. And in the upper right hand corner, it shows you what customer this job is for. If you just go down and actually find Christopher Baker and click OK, watch what happens over here. Remember, it's under Chris. Watch what happens when we click OK. And actually, let's move this over. So that 1665 is now under Christopher Baker. And, all the, and it's just the third job under his list. And now Chris Baker has nothing under it. Because there's no transactions, we actually can just go up here and make sure. We could go ahead and delete this job. But because we're doing a uh, little training session on how to merge jobs, I'm going to go ahead and merge this one as well. I'm just going to double click on it. And I can either do the copy paste that I used earlier uh, for the previous example, but since this name is Christopher and pretty easy, I'm just going to add the last part of the name and click OK. It's going to let me know the name's already in use and it's going to ask me if you'd like to merge them and I'm going to select yes. So now this is merged. Now we have an account number, we have an email, we have everything that we should have. And that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions or if you're running into any problems while doing this, please feel free to leave a comment or a question. Um, we like to do our posts on questions that we receive from viewers and readers. So please, please, please leave any feedback and keep an eye out for some more videos. Thank you for watching.